Hey guys, it's me, the Twilight Dash, and I apologize for not uploading that much lately. It's just that um, since my mom came back from um, um, our um, our home country and came back to UK, um, I can't really I can't really I can't record videos that much because you know, like now that both of my parents are back at home now. I'm gonna have to record videos either like early in the morning or about or about five o'clock. Well, well, not five o'clock in the afternoon. Sorry, it's like somewhere around three or four o'clock, like in the afternoon or something. I don't know exactly. I don't know yet, but but yeah, um, I'm gonna probably record less videos nowadays because both because both. Um, my mom and dad are, like are at home nowadays, but yeah. Um, let's get right into this reaction video. I'm gonna be reacting to the key ponies. Uh, My Little Pony season nine rant. Start over. Old contains swearing. Well, of course, because like he swears a lot. And uh, yeah. Um, let's get right into it. I'm currently reading. The title of my laptop again because because you know as usual I don't use my laptop to record videos anymore I um I actually use this like Dell monitor like which you guys can see on my a uh, community post of course. Oh, not another one of these fucking videos. The shadow key. Oh, not another one of these fucking videos. The Shadow Key Pony, what are you doing? Didn't you rant on this about three times already? And yes, I did make three parts of the My Little Pony Season 9 rant. But this My Little Pony Season 9 rant is a start over. So yeah, it's not a part four, it's a start over. Wait, if you're making a start over, does this mean you've changed your mind on My Little Pony Season 9? No. The reason why I'm making a start over is because I feel like I've missed out a few things. Okay, so, the episodes. The My Little Pony Season 9 episodes are a little bit good and a little bit... Where have I heard that line before? A little bit good and a little bit bad. I, I swear it's from a song or something, Key Pony. You better not have stolen that from a song because I get the feeling that you have or something bad now I do believe that there are good episodes in season 9 like Frenemies um and what else was there um uh the discord and uh I mean I didn't mind Frenemies that much I guess um I only liked it because, you know, Tyrick, Cozy Glow, and Chrysalis finally stopped uh, arguing, I guess. And, you know, and worked together for once. And Starlight and Trixie episode where um, Discord wants to be... Wasn't that a season 8 episode, sir? That was not season 9, because, you know, here's the thing, right? When I was doing my episode recaps originally, I I swear that episode was a season 8 episode, because there was no season 9 episode where our Discord took over the School of Friendship or something like that. That was a season 8 thing, I believe. The principal of the... Well, not ex well, kind of. I think, I think he wanted to become the vice mayor or something of the school, if if I remember correctly, or something. I don't know. Friendship school. I hear that people say that the Discord and Starlight and Trixie episode. Where was Trixie in that Discord episode too? I don't get it. Trixie wasn't even around that much in season eight. What? Well, she was for some episodes, like the road trip one in in, in nineteen. But yeah, but uh, but get what I mean though. Why was Trixie in season eight? Is the worst one, but I don't really believe that. I think the most worst ones are the Lost Crusade, and I mean to be honest, like, like to be honest, like with the Last Crusade, um. 
after some consideration, um, it's not that bad, honestly. You know, the only, like, the only part I didn't like was the whole parents showing up finally after, what, like, nine seasons? That still annoys me, like, that still annoys me, like, like to this day, to be honest. The ending to the ends. Uh... What was the ending? What was the ending the end again? Oh, yeah, it was that. It was the two-parter after, uh, the Big Mac question where Big Mac marries, uh, Sugar Bell. And the final episode. Oh, yeah, and the episode where... The CMC becomes grown up, so I didn't really like that one. I mean, to be honest, I kind of liked it a little bit because it kind of gave us an insight of what to expect, I guess, in the future of My Little Pony. And plus, you know, like we saw them at, you know, in the episode The Last Problem as well. Uh, mainly because of Scootaloo's adult design, I really. I didn't mind Scoot Lose. I didn't mind Scoot Lose like out design personally because you know, you know, even though she can't fly, sadly, she can still teach. I guess. They hated that, and this whole Twilight becoming the ruler of Equestrius. Oh no! Oh, uh, I knew I knew we could talk about it because because uh, because right, and uh, he's probably he, he he's probably watching this like right now, but. Uh, last Wednesday, when I was in the car with the key pony, his mum from Blue Water, his mum basically took the his his mum took the mic out of him by saying, uh, "I will, I will, I will." I don't think I should say it because it's uh, it's kind of their thing. But she said something that annoyed him, and yeah, and then I <laughs> and and then to add insult to injury, I said something like season nine. Because what happened was I was sitting behind him in the back seats, and he was like, and he was sitting in the front with his mum, and I said season nine or something like that, and then he, and then he like turns around, uh, and gives me that look of uh, annoyance. Like, if you know that, if you know what that face looks like, then yeah. Thing, I really hated that as well, which I didn't think was necessary. I mean, I guess, but you know, the thing about that is, he, the thing about that you have to understand is like, you know, with lore and whatnot in shows, you can't really, what's the word, defy them or change them in a sense because, you know, it's like, how do I put it? I'm having an example here. Um, um, it's like you know, becoming, um, what's the word? Um, the princess of something or whatnot. The thing is, though, right? Once, once the person in charge is either gone or decides to step down from the position, like you, you kind of have to fill in for them. If, if you know what I mean, it's, it's like how do I put it? Well, well I don't know how to put it, but, but you get what I mean, though, right? Like, what's the point of training Twilight? to become a princess, you know, like, if she's not going to become a ruler or something, like, you know what I mean? Because in season three, Twilight becomes an alicorn, which then she becomes a prince. Yes, she did. But then, you know, uh, Celestia and Luna were kind enough to give her, I don't know, like... Enough time to get used to her, what's the word? Position, I guess, because you know I didn't think they, because I didn't, because I, because I don't think they wanted to make her the ruler like immediately, like let's say like three seasons after season three. I think they wanted to give her enough time, and season and six seasons was clearly enough time to you know, you know, having her train and whatnot in order to become a ruler of Equestria. So yeah, um. I don't really see the point of her not becoming the ruler if she become, you know, like when she becomes an alicorn. That's the thing, though. Yes. So, Twilight is not a student anymore. Like well, well, yeah, because you know, after she became a princess in season three, she, she wasn't a she wasn't a. Uh, student anymore like she became a teacher because princesses are teachers I, I'm starting to feel and think that Hasbro forgot that season 3 existed hello everypony 
Okay, first of all, I, I wouldn't say they've forgotten that she was a, a student. I think what happened was they, you know, like, by making her an alicorn at the end of season three, they were trying to say that, you know, like, she's not a student anymore because, you know, to me, it's a, a student is someone who still has things to learn. And teachers are are people or people are ponies who have already experienced said problems in a sense. Sorry that I had to end the video there. It's because when I made the original version of this video, it wouldn't allow me to upload it to YouTube and I tried to send it to myself so I can upload it to YouTube on my other old iPad but it wouldn't allow me because of how long the video was so yeah I'll see you all probably maybe tomorrow or whenever I make <coughs> another video oh no Anyways, that was my reaction to the Key Ponies old video, I guess. And yeah, um, I agree with him to some extent about Twilight's journey, but at the same time, though, what's the point of making her like an alicorn and not the rule of equestry, though? That's the thing. Yeah, I just think that, you know, I just think there's no point in becoming a princess if you, if, if you're not going to become a ruler, though, in a sense, because, you know, um, princesses and princes are are meant to be rulers at the end, because, you know, like, what's the point of training uh, someone how to be a manager if they're not going to be a manager, like, if you know what I mean? Like, for example, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my fast food job, like, I'm going to use my fast food job, um, for instance here, um, you know, like, I'm currently a, uh, a crew member in the kitchen, but, you know, if I want to, I can choose to take a, um, a, what's the word, a, um, a manager training course to become a manager there, if I want to, but, you know, that's fine, because it's my choice, but the thing is, right, with Twilight, right, um, uh, because Celestia chose her to be you know, like, uh, the, um, um, a princess and whatnot, she kind of has to do it because, like, you know what I mean, right? Like, you can't just go on a path and be like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. That's the thing, though. You kind of have to commit to something once you're involved, in a sense. And for Twilight's sake, she kind of, ha she kind of had to commit. But yeah, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.